Well, we are here with uh, candidate for governor, Charlie Baker, and he is Hello. here enjoying the Reading Street Fair today. Nice to meet you today. How are you? Great. It's nice to see you. So what have you uh, been doing here at the fair today? Uh, mostly shaking hands and um, occasionally poaching some of the really unbelievably great food that's along <laughs> the route, which we'll be poaching all the way back. And uh, I, was, I have an old Mustang. I have a 1966 Ford Mustang that uh. I bought in 1980. So I was really interested in going over to the car show and... Um, there are absolutely some beautiful antique automobiles over there. Mm. You can just see the, the love and the, and the care that people have given to those. And uh, I actually was given the opportunity to award the trophy to the winner, which was kind of cool, too. Excellent, so excellent. I understand it was quite a vehicle that won, too. There, look, the, they're all winners. I mean, every one <laughs> of those cars is immaculate. And, yeah. uh, and the old Mustangs that are over there, I mean, I think mine's in pretty good shape. But they just glisten. I mean, they're mm. in gorgeous condition. And uh, and I know that's been a part of this show and part of this fair every year. And I will say this. Having been here before, I'm really impressed with the size of the crowd today. Yeah. You guys have cranked it up to a whole new level. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking with the uh, chair of the committee, and he said it's, he believes it's the largest turnout. Got to be. Yeah. Got to be. And you got an unbelievably beautiful day for sure. it, Sure. Do you have a favorite booth that you've seen thus far? Or um, you know... I think I'm going to hit the Cupcake City booth <laughs> pretty hard on my way out of here. Um, Everybody loves the cupcakes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I would just want to say how much I appreciate um, the opportunity to, to come out today. And, and I do want to just remind all your viewers that there's a primary on Tuesday, Absolutely. September 9th, and a general election on Absolutely. November 4th. And it's really important that they get out and vote. Yeah, well, you're running for governor. I am. And uh, this is a question I always ask of people who are running for high office. <laughs> so, so bear with me on it. Because of all the scrutiny, why would you like to be governor of Massachusetts? Uh, I served in the Weldon Salucci administrations. I was Secretary of Health and Human Services and Secretary mm -hmm. of ANF, and um, and I grew up in a house with a mom and dad. My mom's a Democrat. My dad's a Republican. But they and they used to debate the issues of the day at the table every night, and that was uh, pretty entertaining. But <laughs> but I really grew up believing that public service matters and it's important. And having spent eight years serving with Bill Weldon, Paul Salucci. I saw in real terms what a big difference it makes mm -hmm. if you have people there who um, who can get the job done, and uh, and I think I can get the job done. And I also, you know, when I'm out there talking to voters, the biggest message I hear from them is this one-party rule thing is just a bad idea. The checks and balances are good, and having mm -hmm. served in a Republican administration at a time when we had a Democratic legislature, I saw that in real terms. And there is a there is a value to what I call kind of the constructive friction of that. And I think we, frankly, I think we get a better product under circumstances like that. And I'd like to see us deliver for the people of Massachusetts. Definitely. Excellent. Yes. Good. Um, so obviously, um, uh, campaigns and running for governor, there are a lot of challenges. But what is your... Yeah, we've noticed. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> what is your favorite part about going on the campaign trail? You're looking at it, okay? <laughs> the best part about this stuff is the opportunity to get out there and... You have this little card that says you're running for governor, and you have this great chance to talk to people about what their hopes are, what their dreams are, what their concerns are. And I've lived here all my life, and I love the state, and I've been involved in local government, state government. I was the head of Harvard Pilgrim for almost 10 years. I mean, I've, which has a million members, most of whom are in Massachusetts. I right. feel like I sort of knew a lot about the Commonwealth, and then I ran for governor, and I realized how much I didn't know and, and, and frankly how much I liked the people I met just mm -hmm. throughout the course of, of both mm -hmm. campaigns, the 2010 one and this one. And that, that is definitely the best part by far. Well, that's terrific. We thank you for taking some time to come by the Reading Street Fair today. Happy and, to do it. And meet the people. We especially thank you for taking a minute and chatting with us here on RCTV. And I uh, wish you luck on Tuesday and thank you. luck in November as thank well. Thank you very much. All right, take care. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you very you. much. <laughs> okay, take care. We will be back in just one moment here on RCTV.